Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about formulating a hypothesis for a quantitative research. How is forming a hypothesis going to be important in helping you write your research paper? In this lesson, we are going to identify the types of quantitative research hypotheses and formulate research hypotheses for quantitative research. Sa buhay natin, uh, we make impressions, mga first impressions tayo of the people that we first meet. Nagkakaroon tayo ng mga assumptions. But how often do you discover whether your assumptions are right? Sometimes, yung mga first impressions natin, they do not last because we get to know the, those people, we get to know them as the days pass. Okay? So, yung mga uh, interactions natin with them, with those people, either disprove or validate our expectations our assumptions. So, in research, yung mga assumptions na yan, we call them as hypotheses. Okay? Hypothesis. A hypothesis is not always true since the purpose of the study is to prove whether it is correct or not. Kung correct ba yung hypothesis, yung correct, kung correct ba yung assumption natin o hindi. Okay? So, how can our assumptions about the study help in the research process? Let's find out. When we say research hypothesis, it is a tentative proposition about the relationship between two or more variables. So, kapag ka sinabing tentative proposition, ibig sabihin it's not yet final. Sabi ko nga kanina, pwede siyang maging true, pwede din siyang maging false. Right? Ano-ano ba yung mga characteristics ng isang research hypothesis? Okay, uh, ganito, hypothesis siya kung isa lang. Okay, S-I-S, kung isa lang. Pero kung dalawa or more, plural niya is hypotheses. Okay, E na yan. Okay, but it's not pronounced as ses, it's sees. Okay, so a research hypothesis should be falsifiable. Ibig sabihin, pwede siyang maging false. So the research hypothesis must be capable of being disproved. Pwede maging false, pwede maging true. Alright, so hindi pa siya fix. Another is that it should be predictable. It should be predictable. A hypothesis must be able to predict relationships among two or more variables. Okay? To predict relationships among two or more variables. Ito yung uh, sa atin, lalong-lalo na yung mga correlational uh, research design, ano? correlation, study of relationships. So, yung hypothesis natin, it should be predictable. It should be able to predict relationships among our variables. Next, a hypothesis should be simple and specific. Simple and specific. So, this is to prevent the readers from being misled and to keep them from thinking of ideas that are not relevant to the study. Okay? It should be simple and specific. So, you should state the hypothesis as simple as possible. In addition, a hypothesis must not test only, uh, must Test only one assumption at a time. So, hindi pwedeng marami kang test sa isang hypothesis, sa isang hypothesis mo. Ang dami-daming nakapaloob doon na ito, test mo, ang level, ang relationship. So, hindi pwede. Dapat isang assumption lang sa isang hypothesis. But, in your research paper, you can have more than one hypothesis, no? Pwede kang magkaroon ng dalawa, tatlo, apat, and so on. Alright? Pwedeng marami... But in each hypothesis, dapat isang idea lang, isang assumption lang ang test mo. So, how important is the literature review in formulating the research hypothesis? Aba, mag, mag rrl pa ma'am sa hypothesis? Sige, tingnan natin. A hypothesis should be based on an existing body of knowledge. Ibig sabihin, the problem exists. Andun na siya eh, andun na siya. So, the research should investigate topics that are yet to be explored in order to address research gaps. Kaya nga, uh, when you formulated your uh, research topic, I instructed you to research on um, studies about your chosen topics. No? That is uh, to get an evidence that that problem exists. A hypothesis should be capable of being operationally defined. Operationally? Oper <laughs> A hypothesis should be capable of being operationally defined. Okay. Operationally defined. Uh, operational definition. Ibig sabihin, paano siya ginamit? Yung variable, paano ginamit dun sa si study? Okay. Hindi siya, 
hindi siya conceptual definition na kung ano yung nakasulat dun sa sa Merriam uh, Webster's Dictionary uh, sa Webster's Dictionary hindi yun yun yung definition na na kailangan natin it should be how it is used in the in that particular study okay so your research study must be testable okay? it will not be considered as empirical without being tested so kailangan yung mga variables na ginamit natin dun sa study natin uh, dapat da, dapat uh, kaya nating i-measure okay by the use of statistics of course by the use of um yung mga uh, for non-experimental the use of surveys ano yung mga questionnaires natin yung standardized questionnaires natin okay so again yung hypothesis natin dapat testable siya um capable of being measured or tested a hypothesis should be reflective of the research problem. Of course, yung hypothesis natin, based siya dun sa research problem, dun sa research objectives natin. Okay? The argument, objectives, and variables of the study should be clearly expressed in the hypothesis. So, mamaya, ipapakita ko yung example. Ha? Uh, remember that a hypothesis must be falsifiable, okay? predictable, simple, based on an existing body of knowledge, capable of being operationally defined, and reflective of the research problem. We have types of research hypothesis. May dalawa. So, um, first one is the null hypothesis, denoted by H sub O, okay? H sub O or something, H sub zero, okay? Um, alternative hypothesis natin denoted by H sub A or H sub 1. Okay? Pero sa atin, sa format na ginagamit natin, um, ang nilalagay lang natin yung null hypothesis. Okay? H sub O lang. Um, ano ba example ng null hypothesis? There is no relationship or no difference between variables. So, it's the negative, ano? the negative statement. It's always, there is no. Okay? There is no. If you're testing relationship, correlational study, so you say, there is no relationship between uh, the two variables, your variable A and variable B. Okay? If you are uh, testing uh, difference uh, between variables, so you say, there is no significant difference between variable A and variable B. Ganyan yung uh, null hypothesis. Well, the alternative hypothesis, this is the positive statement of your hypothesis. So, kapag kasi sinabi mo sa null hypothesis, there is no relationship. Sa alternative, there is a significant relationship between your variables. For test of difference, you say, there is a difference or there is a significant difference between the two variables or two or more variables. Okay. So, again, two types of research hypothesis, null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. Uh, this is an example of a null hypothesis. So, there is no relationship between customer satisfaction and quality of product. So, we have two variables here, customer satisfaction and quality of product. Ang alternative hypothesis niyan should be the positive one. There is a relationship between customer satisfaction and quality of product. The, this is another example. There is no difference between anxiety and stress levels under therapy B. Ito naman, this is test for, uh, test of difference. Ano? Ayan. Um, ito, this is an example uh, uh, on how to write this in your research paper. Okay, so uh, as you can see here, yung sinundan ng null hypothesis, that is the research objective. Okay, the research objectives. This is the third objectives to determine the relationship between achievement motivation and entrepreneurial behavior of senior high school students. So, ito siya, that's the third and last specific objective. Yung null hypothesis, sis lang kasi isa lang siya, no? Isa lang. Uh, this is based on your last, uh, your last specific objective, your main, your main objective, okay? So, meron ka dito intro statement. The following null hypothesis was formulated 
and tested at 0.05 level of significance. So, sa atin social science, it's 0.05 level of significance yan. Okay, or 5%. 5% um, level of significance. So, that uh, pwedeng i-remove yung following dito. Uh, the null hypothesis was formulated and tested at 0.05 level of significance. And then, we denote our null hypothesis as H sub O. And then, number 1. Okay. There is no significant relationship between achievement motivation and entrepreneurial behavior among senior high school students. Now, take note, this um, hypothesis is falsifiable. Kasi pwede siyang maging true, pwede siyang maging false. Based, um, depende sa magiging result ng study natin. And also, this predicts the relationship ano, um, among our uh, among the two variables. And this is based on the research problem, on the research objective. Okay? Kasi yung main research objective ng study na ito is to determine if there is a significant relationship between achievement motivation and entrepreneurial behavior of the students. So, again, the null hypothesis is there is no significant relationship between achievement motivation and entrepreneurial behavior among the senior high school students. Alright? So, ganyan lang yung pagsulat ng null hypothesis. Music